before I joined Aerohive um, and then obviously Extreme, I had never heard of this term. The, I must confess, the first few times that I heard it, I kept thinking, catnap? Catnap? What's what's a wireless network, network got to do with a cat sleeping? Catnap? Cat? It's like, no, cap web. Cap web. It's like, oh, cap web. So it took me a long time to get. But basically, cap web is a protocol and it's specifically built for wireless communication for wireless LAN communication so one of the specific functions of this cap web is the concept of a of splitting the management and control the mac management and control management of control of 802.11 so we've spoken about the 802.11, uh, you know, uh, standard protocol and, and all the variations of that. So CapWeb allows you to split the, the, the control and, uh, and management functions of that so that you can, so that, so that you can put some of the functions on the access point and some of them somewhere else, like a controller. And so what are some of the things that CapWeb, um, uh, CapWeb AP functions do, for example? Frame exchange, handshake between a client and an AP. So when a client connects to an access point, it's going to be using the frame exchange handshake. It's going to be done with CapWeb. The beacon frames, the transmission of the beacon frames. What are beacon frames? That's an access point saying, hey, I'm here and I have a wireless network called Isaac's Guest Home Network. Hey, I'm here and I have, that's what the beacon frames are. Response to probe request frames from clients. Provision of real time um, signal quality information. So uh, CapWeb will, will have that information about the quality of that connection, that client to AP connection, which of course is fantastic because that can then be fed back into a system like Extreme Cloud IQ. Monitoring each of the radio channels for noise and for interference, monitoring for the presence of other access points. So eight, so CapWeb is a protocol that allows for all of these things.